you see a through line or what's been happening the last few games on defense uh, where you guys have kind of fallen off a little bit? Um, I think containing the ball, communication, um, that just comes with focus. Not sure we've had it the past few games. We just got to step up. You know, at the end of the day, we got to, you know, communicate, keep the ball in front of us. And, you know, without that, you know, we're, we're going to have nights like this and um, just got to pick it up. Chris and Kenny, Jess TV. Don also dealing with the, the turnover issues that we've seen the past few games and tonight as well. It's, are you seeing something that other teams are doing uh, to affect you guys' execution and rhythm? No, I, I think teams are just playing more physical. I mean, it's got to be more precise. You know, when a team, you know, wants it more, and, and they, like tonight, I think they just wanted it. They played last night. They played a tough game last night, and they you couldn't tell by the uh, way they played. So um, for us, we just got to be able to hone in and focus. Um, teams are going to go out there and, you know, try and come at us, you know, whether it's through physicality or energy, whatever it may be. Um, we just got to be ready for it. And we ha I can't say we have been uh, for the past few games. Next up, Andy Larson, Salt Lake Tribune. Donovan, it seems like maybe the, the biggest problem has been point of attack defense. Like, I don't know if it's dying on screens or not being able to find, you know, again, stay in front of guys. How do you make that happen? And, and kind of, well, I, do you have any explanation for why it's kind of dropped off as, as much of it as it has? For it's, it's just the focus, um, to be honest with you. And I think that goes back to communication. Um, and then, you know, having just sense of, of pride defensively as well. Um, you know, I think that's that's really what it is. And we're not going to get anywhere um, if we just try to outscore people. You know, if we if we did that, we're, we're losing by nine. We came back, you know, we were right there, but, you know, we couldn't guard, couldn't rebound. Um, and then the turnovers, but just communicating, keeping the ball in front. You know, there's several instances where it's not always the guy on the ball, it's the shifts. So the guy sees a crowd, you know, I like to attack when I don't see anybody shifting. We got to do the same thing um, on defense. You know, I think that's that's what helps. But at the end of the day, one-on-one -on -one defense is what we're going to see going forward. We're going to see that in the playoffs. And if we can't guard, then uh, we're not going to really do much. So we got to take more pride in that and go from there. Tony Jones, The Athletic. Is there anything schematically that you guys can can do in terms of uh, in, in terms of containing, you know, a, a, a backcourt like Westbrook and, and Bill. And this, you know, just goes from night to night. You're going to see Fred Van Vliet tomorrow night. You're going to see Zach Levine on Monday, you know, and it goes on and on. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a team thing. You know, it's easy to just kind of say Royce has it or if it's a big Rudy has it or Fave has it or Joe has it. Like, you know, it's, it's on all of us, you know. Uh, Westbrook at 20 in the first – 14 minutes, 16 minutes, something like that. I mean, um, I think that's that says it all. You know, this, at the end of the day, like, you know, we're contesting shots and they're going to hit a few. They're, they're good players, they're high-level players. Uh, but, you know, we got to, like I said, keep the ball in front and, and go from there. Uh, schematically, we had a great, I would say we had a great plan drawn up. You know, we just didn't execute it to our best of our abilities. Um, you know, I think we can, we can do better. And I said, it's not always just the guy on the ball, you know, it's, it's the guy, it's the guy you see when you, when you watch the game, but it's, it's the little things of shifting, being there, being at the point of the screen, communicating early. So we're not getting in certain situations. And then from there it's guarding. Um, we just got to do it. Like I said, cause if we don't, you know, it's not going to be good for us. We just got to go out there and do it and go from there. Last question, follow up from Chris and Kenny. You're going to get the best from every team now in the NBA, whether it's like tonight facing the 13th team in the East, tomorrow, Toronto. So how much more important is it, Donovan, for you guys to get these strong starts to not give your opponents confidence? Um, it's huge. Like I said, teams are going to come out, try and be physical, try and disrupt our offense because our offense is free flowing. And, you know, it's it's draining to to move the ball the way we to guard, have to guard the way we move the ball, to guard the way we run, shoot the three. Um, it's draining. So if they can take us out of it, whether it's hitting us on the screen or coming out with more energy or screaming, whatever it may be, uh, we just got to be ready for it. You know, we can't wait, you know, and I think we've gotten accustomed to waiting and then saying, oh, we'll come back, you know, and I think we just got to find ways to go out there and, and whatever it is, I, I don't have a, don't have the magic saying right now, whatever it is, we got to go out there and do it to start uh, one through 15. Um, 
we all got to be mentally ready because, you know, we're not, it's not the Jazz from the past. Like, we're not four, five, six, seven, eight seed. Like, we're the number one team in the league, and this is what comes with it. Every night, you got to be ready, and we got to do that. Thank you, Donovan. Thank you.